Okay, this is uh, week one of Mission R Challenge at Watkins Glen. Um, I did an earlier one of these and uh, had a self-spin that was rather embarrassing and wound up losing a lot of I rating as a result. So hoping to do better this time. Good luck, guys. Bell Wells is in this one. If uh, you've not uh, um, heard of Bell before, um, follow Storm Molina on uh, Twitch. Um, some entertaining sessions. She's uh, she's a fun uh, fun racer to root for. I would always recommend practicing before you go into a race. Yeah, especially in a new car. The safety waiting you save may be your own. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a weird one in comparison to everything else on the platform. Is it a standing start? Yep, it is. Don't forget to put it in first. Or drive, or whatever. Yeah, it's super silent. Um, it just starts right away. The nice thing about the launch is that you just mash the gas pedal. Tenth position. Twenty minutes. Okay, Chip. Stay calm. Focus. Go! Gotta remember tires aren't warm yet. Definitely lends itself to close racing because everybody's got the same power. Come on, baby. Turn. For Ooh. the new guys in here, keep in mind this car absolutely cooked the tires.
It's like driving a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Damn it. Cut his nose off a little bit, but... Chip, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Come on, stick with the bastard. We need more speed. Don't try to brake later. Just concentrate harder. E11. That was a little rough. Come on, Chip. Nicely done. There we go. Damn it, two X. Seem does not like to rotate. But 
Yellow flag. That was scary. Almost the makings of a rerun of my last race in this car. Okay, Jet. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. P8. Damn it. Not sure what happened to Belle. I've lost sight of her. So she must have been one of the cars that turned around. Time to get defensive, mate. This is a deceptively difficult car to drive. Think a one gear Audi GTO and the uh, Camel series. If you've ever driven any of those, imagine that with only one gear. It's kind of like that. The gap to Powell ahead is now 4.0 seconds. These little micro stutters I keep getting aren't helping me much. A little cleaner through the bus stop. Another little micro stutter. I don't know if that's maybe the car because it's new, or if my system is being bogged down by something, but if it's uh, creating artifacts in the uh, recording, I apologize. Don't like that. So slow. Figure over the course of a season I'll learn to drive this car faster, I hope. The gap behind is now 1.7.
Oh, don't touch the grass. Come on. Turn, baby. That was a really bad lap. Another micro stutter. That's why I argue I need a new machine. I think I'm asking too much of this one. Nathan, that was a beautiful over-under. I'm a dirt car racer by trade. These on dirt would be something else. Eighth place. All right, Chip, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Can't be good bottoming out there like that. He certainly reeled me in, hasn't he? Am I driving like that much shit that he's hey, that much faster than me all of a sudden? Oh, he just hit the wall. That ought to slow him down. This is where he's faster than I am, I think. Okay, Chip. Ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. White flag, one more lap. That was shit.
drive the defensive line. Didn't like to see that, that was unfortunate. Good race, everybody. That was a good fun race. Oh my god, that was a lot of fun. There's the checkered flag. Dude, that lap car almost ruined my my run out of that turn. Whew. I'm just going ahead and lap around. Since I got 3x, I don't want to have that hit my safety rating any harder than it has to, so I'll drive a few more corners to round it out. Holy cow. I think I came into the chicane way too fast and I cut him off. I think I cut his nose off when I came around here. I was glad that he was still behind me because I was afraid that maybe I had spun him out by squeezing him off and that would have sucked. That was a good race though. He was definitely faster than I was I think there at the end. I don't know if my tires fell off or if I was just uh, not practicing a consistent racecraft there at the end of the race. So starting to get tired. This car's rough. It's tough to drive. But it is fun. P8 is better than my last result, which was a P15, so I will definitely take it. I think uh, this was about the same strength of field as the last race as well. Pit lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Box in 1230 feet. significantly better than the last go round that I had in this car at this track uh, wound up uh, as car number 10 I had qualified um, as p10 and I moved up two positions wound up getting uh, positive 23 on the I rating which is really good I did manage to lose a little bit more on my safety although not as much as I did last time um, with the three incident points it gave me 0 0.06 uh, uh, dump on the safety rating which is fair I mean it, it I, I, you should drive cleaner <laughs> um, it, it's, it's definitely a car that you should be able to do a zero incident but it is tough to drive getting the braking right um, and uh, the acceleration especially as the tires wear it's quite a feat so uh, was quite amazing. Um, it looks like our biggest winner was our second place finisher with a positive 91 in his I rating. And it looks like our biggest loser was Steven Yanni, the guy that was eating me up pretty good. I believe that that's who that was. Um, and uh, he 
he wound up with a minus 86. So he had a couple of uh, incidents and problems earlier on as well, obviously, um, to have wound up racing with me behind me. Um, and uh, that's unfortunate that he kind of averting that uh, that accident with that car that had spun off. Um, he caught grass and uh, and spun off. Um, he had gotten by me fair and square um, with that. And uh, um, it was a shame to see him go around. He had, was having a pretty decent race up until that point. So um, Bell um, wound up uh, disconnecting um, after her initial incident um, and uh, didn't finish too well in terms of irating there. But so goes. Um, she she fared better. It was fourth in the last race that I was in and got some good irating from that. So everything turns around. It's, uh, it's a numbers game with racing. Um, if you have a bad race, try it again. You may have a better luck uh, and get, get better results the next time around. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching. Um, click on that subscribe link, uh, like the, the video, comments are always welcome, and um, thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye now. Spaß machen,